Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Just a quick video here on the hardy kiwi. Um, I had taken a couple of the kiwi off and put them on the counter and forgot about them and then this morning I noticed they were a little wrinkly and I took the largest one, popped it in my mouth and man it was unbelievable. Um, yeah, I was thinking of getting rid of this hardy kiwi now. I'm just wondering what I was thinking uh, when I placed it uh, where I did. Um, you know, sort of shades this side here, and um, I don't know, I didn't want it up against the uh, fence. I think I was thinking the uh, squirrels would just jump onto it, but I know I, I, I noticed a couple of the kiwi with tooth marks in them on the on the ground, but I don't think they're um, palatable until they're ripe. So there's nothing really touching them right now. So the one that I had, and I had the reaction uh, to. It just too was not ripe, and they're just a completely different animal once they're uh, ripened. Now I know what a, a ripe hardy kiwi is supposed to be like. So, yeah, I wonder if I can move these if I have enough of a root mass, so they'll still fruit. Um, you know, since they're at that stage now where they're going to fruit. But yeah, um, I was just eating them; they weren't ripe enough. So I also have the um, honeysuckle vines wrapped around the same hardy kiwi vines, but see the smaller over here, I wonder if you thin them out, they get larger. This is like the size of the one that I had this morning. I'll take some more of these off. You know, I, I, I cut a couple of branches off that had masses of, of these hardy kiwi on them and threw them out. But, um, these are all the honeysuckle leaves that are coming off. Well, you can see they're, they're all red now, and we still have temperatures like in the 50s for lows for the next week. Let's see what we got here. Pick some of these larger ones and put them on the counter. Oh, here's a nice... Wow, this one actually is softened. Oh, okay, this one's softened on the vine. Oh, see that? And I noticed the, they're a lot juicier too when they're uh, ripe. So these do soften on the vine. This one here um, left the stem on. So maybe I need to get out the next day and pick most of these. I don't know if you can freeze them too, but let's go inside and take a look at these. All right, so let's take a look. So these are the two that I've had on the counter for a while. I had these potatoes uh, in the compost pile. I found these potatoes. And uh, anyways, these are sitting on the counter. You can see they're wrinkly, very soft. And this one here, where is it? This one here is soft, but softened on the vine. This is the one I just picked. And let's take this fuzz off here at the end. You can see, I don't know if you can see that. And they're so juicy now once they ripen. Can you see that? See how soft they are? Just like a regular kiwi. And you just pop them in your mouth. Wow. The skin is sweet too. So, I was eating unripe kiwi. Look how juicy those get. Wow. You can't stop eating these. Oh yeah, the the skin is sort of sweet and and tart, a little tart, but sweet. These are so good. Wow. And you can <laughs> you can grow these in New England without having to do anything to protect them. Who knew? I guess. 
people don't want to wait five years. Those are so good. It's like, it actually is like a kiwi and a nice, those, um, those, those big grapes you get, the big green ones. Wow. Well, let's not take away, not to take away from the hardy kiwi. Let's take a look at this black Madeira. And that's kind of, oh, it is soft. Wow. Okay. All right. So I don't see anything moving. And uh, let's give this a try real quick. Since this is supposed to be about hardy kiwi. Hmm. Well, that's good. Well, anyways, <clears throat> that's um, that's my problem. There was I, I didn't, uh, I didn't wait long enough. These firm, hardy kiwi, they are just not uh, ripe. And if you give it a little bit more time, whether on the vine, it seems, or um, on the counter, when they're nice and soft, that's when you, to, you eat them. And they're just uh, unbelievable, like the combination between one of those large green grapes and a kiwi. So this is New England Gardening. Guess I'll be keeping those hardy kiwis. Thanks for watching.